Yep. There you go. Still climbing, still climbing, still climbing. Perfect, keep coming, nice and gently, nice and gently break now. There we go, see how much smoother that was coming down? And that time we did contact, right? Nice and gentle as we go through there, right guys? That's what we're looking for. Awesome, good job. Differential is locked right now, right? And our four wheel drive is locked, allowing power to go front and rear. Car's at a pretty uh, good tipping point right now, right? Pretty stable still, actually, right? Come on forward just a little bit for me. So on that brake, ease off that brake really gently. Give me just a little bit of throttle. Really gently. Perfect. Yeah, Perfect. We're still climbing. Yeah. Awesome. Nice and gently this. now. Brake. Oh, awesome. Oh, <laughs> really? Absolutely. <laughs> Come on forward, nice and easy for me, nice and easy. You want to get that rear tire back on the ground, nice, perfect. Come on forward. Yeah. Dina, good driving. How's that feel? Awesome. Did you feel like you just had four feet of air between the front tire and the, the ground? Yeah, you did a little bit? Okay. All right. Come on forward for me just a little bit further. We'll get Brian through here next. Come on up, Brian. Wow. Thank God I didn't volunteer to do that one. <laughs> you would have freaked out. No, I know, I was like... <laughs> I can't, so I don't know if I can exert that, that much pain to myself, right? Nice and, nothing complicated about it, just keep moving forward. Yeah, that's a good word. I like drama, just watching it. Nice and slow, yep, keep coming. Good, dang. Nice and steady. Keep coming forward, keep coming forward. Nice. Hold that brake for me. Hold that brake. Perfect. See how smooth that was, guys? That's what we're looking for. We don't want to just gun it because if we gun it, we're going to do what? Slam down. When we slam down, that suspension is going to compress. We have nowhere else for it to go. Then our body is hitting the ground. Last thing we want to do is slam a transmission pan or an oil pan through something. And the tire on the being on the inner wall, that's fine. It, well, we if you notice where it actually is, is, there is still tread there. We're on this section of that tire that has uh, tread. Yeah. This is actually what's there. That's what it's designed for. But a good point. Anytime that I'm out and we have some rocks around, we definitely would rather put our tire tread on top of that rock than that sidewall. Because what's the weakest point of our tires? Sidewall. We don't want to stab anything through the sidewall if we can help it. Come on forward, nice and easy for me. Still off the ground, now we're back on the ground. Good job. Nice driving, Brian. Dina? Good job. Alright guys, Donna is actually wanting to see our approach angle as we're coming into this, just so that she can get
get that vision in our mind of uh, what the terrain looks like and then how much of a clearance we actually have coming into that. Nice and easy for me, nice and easy. You want to get that rear tire back on the ground? Nice and perfect. Come on forward. Yeah. Dina, good driving. How's that feel? Awesome. Did you feel like you just had four feet of air between the front tire and the, the ground? Yeah, you did? A little bit? Okay. All right. Come on forward for me just a little bit further. We'll get Brian through here next. Come on up, Brian. Wow. Thank God I didn't volunteer to do that one. <laughs> you would have freaked out. No, I know. It's like... <laughs> I can't, I don't know if I can exert that much pain to myself. Right? Nice, nothing complicated about it, just keep moving forward. Yeah, that's a good word. I don't like trauma, just watching it. Nice and slow, yep, keep coming. God, dang. Nice and steady. for me. Hold that brake. Perfect. Wow. See how smooth that was, guys? That's what we're looking for. We don't want to just gun it because if we gun it, we're going to do what? Slam down. When we slam down, that suspension is going to compress. We have nowhere else for it to go, then our body is hitting the ground. Last thing we want to do is slam a transmission pan or an oil pan through something. And the tire on the being on the inner wall, that's fine? It, well, we if you notice where it actually is, is there is still tread there. We're on this section of that tire that has tread. This is actually what's there, that's what it's designed for. But a good point, anytime that I'm out and we have some rocks around, we definitely would rather put our tire tread on top of that rock than that sidewall. Because what's the weakest point of our tires? The sidewall. We don't want to stab anything through the sidewall if we can help it. Come on forward, nice and easy for me. Still off the ground, now we're back on the ground. Good job. Yeah. Nice driving, Brian. Dina?
Wait, that must be the She messed up. What? Yeah, we're going to go back. Hang on. She turned here and went the wrong way. Yeah, if it goes the same way. Oh, I don't think this is going to have the big turns. Like the saucer turn. No, not saucer turns. Though. Oh, they could have easily had a turn right there. There we go. Oh yeah, more mud got everywhere. Oh. Oh. <laughs> We're going 35. <laughs>